It's just a bit of fun. You don't have to. In Derbyshire, over 250 kilometers south of London City, and where the team had camped for two days, but had to wait until weather permitted for them to train outdoors. They had to brave the light showers on Saturday morning. And the head coach Liz Odera, the boys and the girls trained together for the very first time. Working on their strokes and services and later light runs across the pavilion. Several locals watched the proceedings from a distance. The team later traveled south to the city of Onda. Here they got a feel of the Aristotaf courts and which they will play their first competitive matches later on Sunday evening. Onda school is among the top three tennis playing schools in England and our boys and girls will not only get the much needed exposure but also an opportunity to gauge their strengths against top opposition. Earlier, when talking to Cajun for Sport, head coach Liz Odera stressed the need for such opportunities and urged the government to come in and assist in such, if not other, initiatives. Things are going to change and um, people will begin to open up their counties and start looking at opportunities for people there, for young people. The more we, we provide them with opportunities to spend their time usefully, uh, the better it will be, um, the more useful they will be to the society. As it is now, uh, you cannot have young people just walking around and do not have opportunities to play sports. The team will be here in Ondo City for two days before traveling to Mayfield on Monday. Chiroge for K24 Sports in Ondo, England.